Hello, welcome to uh, Quantitative Literacy, Math 143. Uh, this is a little introduction video uh, on how to navigate uh, Odigia. So in your Blackboard page, you should have a link that says Odigia Courses. We're going to click on that. And your first time, you're going to have a long list of courses that are offered here uh, in Odigia in, at Forsyth Tech. Uh, you're going to want to find your instructor. It might be a, a different section. And um, let's see, uh, Heather King. We could click on her. Um, and then you would need to enter in a course code the first time you enter here. Um, the, your instructor provides the course code for you. And that will allow you to enroll in the class for the first time. Uh, once you enroll in a class, uh, you'll have, here's all the courses I'm enrolled in here at Forsyth Tech. Uh, you'll have this page, and then this over here will look a little different because I am an instructor. Uh, but we can enter a course. Uh, when you enter, you have a, a series of tabs on the top. Uh, it always opens you up into the activity feed. Uh, some instructors choose to use the activity feed. Um, a lot don't for uh, quantitative literacy for Math 143. So this tab isn't all that important to most students, but if you click over on Course Outline, here you'll find readings, uh, examples, videos for the course. You could think of this as replacing your um, textbook. And this menu is fully interactive. Uh, you can see a list of sets or units here. And you can click every set is full of concepts, and this is similar to uh, chapters and sections. So each concept acts as a section. So here we have uh, set unit 2.1. I wouldn't bet on it. Uh, I want to understand why. Uh, your second concept in that set is uh, what are the chances? And here you have videos. Oh, that's a nice looking guy there and uh, readings, examples, try it questions. And then from here, selected content acts as the reading. And then the reviews tab acts as a practice and as quizzes, or in our situation in Math 143, this is where we place our, our lab assignments, our online lab assignments. Uh, there's also a resource tab, which can give you um, extra readings. Uh, typically, in the first or second concept of each set, there's some extra reading if, if the selected content isn't enough or if, if you want some extra. Uh, there might be some extra videos, like you see here. Um, you can always click on the header to get back to the outline. And also from the outline, you can go. You can jump directly to the practice and to the quiz. Now you can see here that it says complete the practice questions to access the quiz. Uh, this is a setting that your instructor can choose to use or not to use. But typically, in order to be able to access uh, a quiz, you'll need to complete the practice first. Uh, throughout quantitative literacy, you have lab assignments. Um, and those lab assignments might be paper-based or they might be found under this quiz section requiring you to complete the uh, practice section first. So let's take a quick example, look at a quick example of that. Uh, here, uh, it's set 1.1, first concept, what is quantitative literacy? There are two practice problems. Looks like I got the first one wrong and the second one right. Uh, but then I can go under the quiz, and I have, I didn't do very well at this quiz, uh, this quiz, my first lab assignment, uh, what is quantitative literacy writing assignment? And I could, could have written my answer here. Uh, instead, of, I just wrote hello. Uh, so that is a quick outline. Under course outlines, you have an interactive menu that can jump you to uh, reading and videos. Uh, to practice 
and to, in our context, labs, which are placed under the quiz tab. Another thing of note, you'll see throughout these check marks over here, which can tell you whether you have completed um, a, a concept. So here you can see I have completed the practice, because I got a circle, and I have completed this quiz, uh, or lab assignment, which I got a zero, because all I did was type hello. Um, and then here you can see I completed this practice, because I have a complete zero, and there wasn't a quiz here, so I got a check mark. Uh, so that's an overview. I uh, hope you enjoy quantitative literacy.